In this demo I'll show you how to configure your wireless LAN interface via the command line. So to do that we in fact have to turn off the uh, network manager which automatically manages the interface for you. So I right click on the, the network manager icon and disable networking. So that both of the uh, or all of the interfaces on, on my laptop are disabled. To see interface information we use ifconfig and in this case it shows me that only I have one interface and that's my loopback interface, LO, uh, the, the special interface for sending to myself. Uh, but it does not list my wired Ethernet interface nor my wireless LAN interface because they've been disabled. So let's enable them. In this case we're going to just deal with the wireless LAN interface. I need to do this as sudo because to modify the interface information you need uh, the appropriate privileges. I have config and I know that the interface name from past uh, attempts is WLAN0. Uh, if we go back, how do I know the interface name? I have config minus A, list them all. So to find out all the interfaces, even those disabled, I have config minus A. I just clear the screen. So I want to configure my wireless LAN interface, wireless LAN WLAN 0, and I want to enable it. Uh, which means turning it up. And now look at the configuration of WLAN 0 and now it's enabled and it shows me the hardware address. It doesn't have an IP address uh, because it's not connected to any wireless LAN and it has not obtained an IP address yet. Now let's look at the wireless configuration of this interface. ifconfig shows the IP and MAC uh, configuration, but iwconfig can be used to look at the wireless configuration details. iwconfig, same interface identifier, WLAN0, and it shows me that my interface supports IEEE 802.11 B, G, and N. Uh, it's not associated to any access point. And, then, and therefore there's no extended server set ID. Shows me some of the parameters of the interface such as the transmit power and it's in manage mode. Manage mode is the mode where it, it will be managed by an access point. So we need to associate with an access point. So first we need to know of an access point nearby to uh, uh, select. Some of the commands uh, that are associated with the uh, uh, wireless interface configuration uh, uh, can be listed if we do a search via the man pages for IW. We see there's IW config for configuring the interface and there are some other related commands like listing some inf information about the interface, uh, looking at different wireless events, we're going to try to list some information about the interface. IW list. Just look at the man page for IW list. There are many different uh, in sets of information that we can get. So we specify IW list, the interface name. We can scan for different access points nearby, which we'll do in a moment. We can look at frequency information, the channels which are supported by the interface, data rate information, uh, and other details about the wireless interface. Let's scan for some interfaces. I'll do it as sudo so that we've got the privileges to uh, do the scanning. IW list, the interface name, and the operation is scanning and I'll pipe it into less so that it doesn't uh, scroll too fast through the screen. 
and we see it, what it shows for this interface is a, a set of cells or access points that have been uh, discovered during that short scanning phase. Basically the wireless interface goes into a receive mode and uh, tries to either receive beacons or, and or send out probe requests with the hope of receiving probe responses to learn about access points. And it does that in, on all of different channels. So it uh, goes through from channel 1 and does some brief scanning and then channel 2, channel 3 and so on with the aim of discovering all nearby access points on all the possible channels. And it gives the details here of those access points. Here, cell 01, we see the address of the access point and the channel it's using, channel 6, something about the signal quality, whether it's using encryption or not, and importantly, the thing that we will need is the extended server set ID. Uh, there's one with solar, and the other features which the ac access point is advertised are listed there, like the data rate supported, um, uh, the encryption supported, and so on. If we scroll down, we'll see that there are other access points found. Here's cell 02 with ESS ID WSIT, also on channel 6, and cell 3 on channel 9, ESS ID Earth, and cell 4 also WSIT. So two access points there which belong to the WSIT network and we're going to use one of them to associate with. So now we'll use IWconfig to tell our wireless interface to associate with an access point with ESS ID WSIT. And now let's look at the first the wireless interface information. We see now that we're associated with uh, an access point on the network WSIIT. WSI uh, the frequency, the, the data rate that it's uh, connected with and the access point information as well as link quality information. So now we're associated. If we want to send data we will need an IP address. If we use ifconfig, let's check, we don't yet have an IP address. So normally the network manager uh, does all this automatically for us. It shows the access points available by scanning and either manually you can select one of the ESS IDs or you may configure to automatically select them but via the command line we must do these steps separately. So the final step we want to do is find an IP address and we do that using uh, DHCP. So we start the DHCP client and which will try to discover an IP address for the wireless LAN 0 interface. It may take some time. It sends out a request to the DHCP server on, on the network. And if all's well, the DHCP server should send back a response including the IP address for this interface. It's completed so let's look at the interface information now and we see now we have an IP address 10.10.98.38 so that's the way that we can configure the the wireless interface via the command line uh, we first turned on the wireless interface and then we use IWList to scan for access points and then I told my wireless interface to associate with an access point on extended server set WSIIT and then I used DHClient to obtain an IP address using DHCP. To finish uh, a couple of other things we saw with IWList there were different operations available so we can list for our interface the rates supported or the current bit rate 5.5 megabits per second 
Remember with wireless LAN there are multiple bit rates available or data rates and the the interface, uh, the, the wireless LAN uh, card on your computer will choose the best one depending on the signal quality. So it may change over time, it will automatically switch between different data rates. Another thing we can do is list the channels or frequencies supported. Simply list the available frequencies or channels and the current frequency that we have available. And there are other operations that can be formed with IW list and the other IW family of uh, command line tools that will let you to configure your wireless interface. Last thing to do, let's turn off the wireless interface using IF config by turning it down. And we're back to sim simply our loopback interface, no other interface is configured. You may want to enable your networking again so all of those steps will be automatically managed by your uh, by the network manager software on the operating system